What's going on everyone? This is Luke from South Beach Sports and as you guys are probably aware, the Miami Heat are very well known for developing these phenomenal undrafted talents such as Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, and Udonis Haslam and I think they might have come across their next hidden gem in Marcus Garrett. Like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you do not miss a single video. Also go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on Marcus Garrett and if you think he could, he could become a solid NBA player in the future. So Mark Scared is a 6'5 guard with a giant 6'10 wingspan which I think makes his defensive potential even more promising. In his senior season at Kansas, he averaged 11 points to go along with 4.6 rebounds a game and 3.7 assists. Garrett is not known as a shooter, but he did shoot fairly well in his last season at Kansas as he shot 35% from three. While Garrett's stats aren't anything crazy in the offensive end, it's really on the defensive end where he makes his mark. He is a three-time All-Big 12 defensive team member, which is insane, and he also won the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year award in 2020, uh, which is awarded to college basketball's best defender in the country, so you could really make the argument that uh, Marcus Garrett was the best defender entering the 2021 NBA Draft. A lot of people were left wondering why Garrett went undrafted considering he's such a great defender and that has to do completely with what he brings on offense which at this point in his career is not that much. I mentioned Garrett being a 35% 3 point shooter but he is not a high volume shooter. He only shot around 2 attempts per game in his senior year at Kansas and he doesn't bring a lot when it comes to shot creation either. He also has a looser handle which he needs to tighten up if he wants to become a successful point guard in the NBA. What he does bring on offense is a downhill finishing ability which is something that the Heat needs. I really liked what I've seen from him in the first two summer league games when it comes to finishing. He doesn't back down from contact, he knows how to draw fouls which I think is great. Through his first two summer league games, Garrett's offensive stats aren't anything crazy but that's expected of him. He's not an offensive player like I said. He's averaging 10.5 points a game to go along with 2.5 assists per game. He's also only averaging a 63.5% free throw clip which he obviously needs to improve on considering finishing at the basket is his offensive specialty. He hasn't attempted a 3 pointer yet which I'm not going to criticize him for but it's definitely apparent that the 3 point shot is something that he's not completely comfortable with. On the defensive end, however, Garrett has just been phenomenal. He's averaging 5 steals per game, which is of course the league leader in this category. I like to compare Garrett a lot to the likes of Drew Holiday and Patrick Beverly on the defensive end because, like these two players, Garrett uses his wingspan extremely well. He likes to pick up players full court, which is something that we do not see often. And he's just annoying. He's a gritty, get in your face type defender, and I think that's very, very important, especially for a grit and grind team like the Heat. Garrett's best attribute on defense has to be his ability to create turnovers on ball and knowing when to attempt for a steal and when not to because obviously in the NBA he's going to be going up against some of the best ball handlers in the world and these players will take advantage of Garrett if he's not disciplined enough on defense. I know some of you guys out there are going to be skeptical of Garrett because of his lack of offensive skill set and while some of this skepticism is warranted, you have to remember how many players are out there that have built successful NBA careers and have been paid very well for just their defense. I mean look at guys like PJ Tucker, Bruce Brown, Patrick Beverly. These are NBA veterans, especially uh, Beverly and Tucker who have just built these phenomenal careers off becoming some of the best defenders in the league. Uh, like these guys are so important to just making championship runs. You need these glue guys, these energy defensive specialist type players to really hold your team together and come up with big time stops and key time moments. And I think Garrett definitely has the potential to become this guy in the future. And who knows really because Garrett's only 22 years old, he's under one of the best development staffs in the NBA in the Miami Heat, so he could end up developing a well-rounded offensive skill set. I am so excited by Garrett's skill set already as a defender and I'm very intrigued by his potential for the future and I really hope the Miami Heat sign him to at least a two-way contract for next season. That's going to be it for today's video guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on Marcus Garrett. With that being said, I will catch you later. Peace.